Debatard. Who do you think of or what do you think of when I say oversaturation? Somebody who you're sick of because you're seeing too much of them. I think of Justin Bieber. That's funny because I was going to go One Direction. Stugats. Oh, that bubble is going to burst then. The One Direction bubble. You'll see. First. This is the Dan Lebatar Show on ESPN Radio. ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Thanks to Arrestus Destrade and Giancarlo Stanton, excuse me, for joining us earlier. Andy Murray going to join us in a half hour on the Shell Pennzoil performance line. A texture writes in of Cody. It's near the break and you want him to talk as the break cuts him off, yet he continues to do it. From time to time, he will lapse into clarity and avoid this, but eventually he will forget and keep talking as the break begins. It is the most remarkably funny thing I hear on any radio show. You've made no pretense about trying to get Greg to talk through the top of the hour break. He knows that when you specifically ask for his opinion, it's near the break. And yet you want him to talk and the break cuts him off. How do you feel about that? I mean, it is. It it is. It It makes me sad. It makes you sad that you can't learn to not talk well, through the, the break? A lot of things make me sad. My friend blatantly entrapping me. That mm-hmm. makes me sad. Uh-huh. Uh, plus, I, I think I made that last one. I don't think it cut me off. No, no, no. You get lucky a remarkable amount. A remarkable amount. Because you never have any idea when the clock is coming. Sometimes I do. Very infrequently. I will next time. You, oh, you will? Okay. okay. Give yeah. us All a right. percentage of time. Right. You know All it's right. coming. All right. 70. All right. So n- really? Stay with us. Till the end of this hour, through that Andy Murray interview. (laughs) Through it. Stay with us to see if we get Greg Cody again at the end of the show. Uh, We've got to update our tournaments. The NIT here. George Washington has advanced, a four seed, in our NIT tournament. That means this advances. Jerry Richardson looks like a fat cat in a political cartoon. (laughs) So good. I love that. Not in the real tournament. It it looks, yeah, he looks so much like that, the Carolina (laughs) owner. Uh, Georgia Tech, another four seed has advanced. That means this advances. Clay Thompson looks like the bellhop at a four-star hotel. Really does. <laughs> and uh, San Diego State has advanced. San Diego State is a two seed, so that means in the NIT, this advances. Andy Dalton looks like he still wears his high school letterman's jacket to the local diner to grab a malt with his gal. <laughs> that's a great one. So that's the NIT. We're not paying as much attention to that as we are paying attention to our real tournament, and we're down to our Sweet 16 as well. So this is what's remaining in the tournament. Mm. It hurts. We have lost a lot of good stuff, yeah. obviously. Miami, a three seed, is still in the tournament. That means this is still in the tournament. Tom Thibodeau looks like the guy in an antacid commercial uncomfortably eating a chili dog while pulling at his collar for relief. <laughs> That's, that, I mean, nobody in sports looks more like that no, yes. than Tom Thibodeau. Yeah. No one in the history of sports. Maybe Frank Layden. Maybe. Uh, uh, Maybe. Villanova. Villanova is a two seed. Here is Villanova. Jay Cutler looks like the guy trying to break into a house on an alarm company commercial. That's one of our best ones. It really is. So good. But so is this. Texas A&M is still in the tournament. Oh, look at who got a miracle. Texas A&M with, a, you know, they erased an 11-point lead in 44 seconds. All right. This got a miracle. Roy Williams looks like the curator of a small-town historical society who patiently gazes out the window for potential visitors all day, sighs, then flips the sign to close. <laughs> I'm so glad that advanced. Yes, I'm thrilled as well. <laughs> Oklahoma, Buddy Heald, and them boys. You know what Buddy's real name is? It's not Buddy. What is it? Buddy is worse. It's Chavaton. C-H-A-V-A-T-O-N is what? his real name. Is it pronounced like that? I don't know how you pronounce it. But that his real name is better than the name that Buddy is not a great name. Shabaton. Shabaton? Maybe that's it. I, I made him some sort of dictator. I think it's a it's Hispanic it. dictator of yeah. some sort. <laughs> I know exactly how Shabaton. You know exactly how he got Buddy. Like someone like Sugat tried to pronounce his name and he just started yeah. calling hey, him Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. It also sounds like a cologne. 
<laughs> Shivano, I think is how you pronounce ah, it. Ah, there it is. I'm sorry. I got it wrong. Shivano is Shivano. his name. I got yes. it wrong. Shivano. My bad. Yep. Sounds more like a Cologne. Shivano is even better, though. Mm-hmm. Shivano. Sounds like a breed of dog as well. So, Shivano and them boys represented by... Wade Phillips looks like someone you would find on a bottle of barbecue sauce. We got a big matchup here in the oh, next round. Oh. This is huge. This is this is epic. A heavyweight fight. Maryland represented by Maryland. Paul Feinbaum looks like the human version of the NCAA rule book. <laughs> <laughs> That's going up against one seed, Kansas. Kansas represented by Jim Caldwell looks like the nervous armored car driver transporting his largest and last delivery. Suspicious his new partner might be up to something. Jay Cutler is his new partner. (laughs) This is another great matchup, too. Great. Duke, a four seed, represented by... Dana Holgerson looks like that guy your dad punched at Steak and Shake when you were a kid. (laughs) I don't want to I, to I, advance, I don't, but it's I my know. favorite one. I, I mean, it's really good. It's really good. Uh, that is uh, Stugatz's record 40th favorite one. That's really good, though, that one. Uh, facing Oregon, Oregon represented by... Russell Wilson looks like a dolphin trainer. He really does. He does. He does. There's something amazing about the simplicity of that one. Yeah. I mean, it's my favorite one. Iowa State, <laughs> Iowa State's George Niang and them boys, represented by... Buck Showalter looks like the old Texas lawman who squashes disputes at the local saloon by simply swinging open the double doors and staring down rowdy patrons. Richie Incognito and Endamicon Sue are those rowdy patrons. That's good. <laughs> it is. It is good. <laughs> Iowa State plays Virginia. That's offense against defense. Re- uh, Virginia represented by Wade Phillips looks like a flabbergasted Boy Scout troop leader in the woods who can't find his way back to camp. <laughs> Does this mean? This must mean that Wade Phillips is the bank security guard who gets fooled, gets his gun stolen from him by robbers who put a banana to his neck. That's gone. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. We're also feuding with. Uh, Wade Phillips, he sent out on Twitter that he's feuding with the Dan Leotard show. He wrote, uh, uh, the Dan Leotard show is better than I originally thought it was, but that's not saying much given what I originally thought it was. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yes, good. yes, good line by old Wade, Excellent. by old son of bum. <laughs> Don't worry, Wade. I feel like you're going to win this whole thing. Wisconsin, Wisconsin is represented by... Brett Bielema looks like the guy who says, diet starts tomorrow, as he takes a giant bite of a pulled pork sandwich. (laughs) Pulled pork sandwich. Excellent funny phrase. Uh Notre Dame, represented by the loaded Jim Tom Sula conference. Jim Tom Sula looks like a construction worker in an action film shouting, you can't go that way, as a car blows through a barricade. (laughs) Gonzaga, Gonzaga, however you pronounce it. An 11 seed, represented by... Les Miles looks like a judge for your local chili cook-off who puts his finger in your bowl and says, it needs a little more heat. That's right, the 11 <laughs> seed. Cinderella, Sabonis and them boys. Wow, Sabonis' nice kid job. and them boys. Uh, facing Syracuse, this is really good. This is 11 versus 10, yeah. Syracuse. Brad Nessler looks like he walked out of a 1920s gangster-run nightclub. (laughs) So good, man. Indiana, a five seed, represented by the loaded Jim Tom Sula conference. Jim Tom Sula looks like the guy riding a wave of water on a float after his above-ground pool breaks on America's Funniest Home Videos. (laughs) Cody loved that one. Cody Cody loved that one. Cody delighted by that one. That's facing North Carolina, also from the loaded Jim Tom Sula conference. Jim Tom Sula sounds like a monster a Creole grandma comes up with to keep kids quiet. Keep quiet, or that Jim Tom Sula is coming out of the swamp. 